Hargobind Khorana, also called Hargobind Khorana, was an Indian-American biochemist who shared the 1968 Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine with Marshall W. Nirenberg and Robert W. Holly for research that helped to show how the order of nucleotides in nucleic acids, which carry the genetic code of the cell, control the cell synthesis of proteins. Quarana and Nirenberg were also awarded the Louisa Gross Horwitz Prize from Columbia University in the same year. Quarana was born in Raipur, British India and became a naturalized citizen of the United States in 1966, and subsequently received the National Medal of Science. He served as Miss Alfred P. Sloan Professor of Biology and Chemistry, Emeritus and was a member of the Board of Scientific Governors of the Scripps Research Institute. Research work Ribonucleic acid with three repeating units produced two alternating amino acids. This, combined with the Rachitin leder experiment, showed that UCU codes for serine and CUC codes for leucine. RNAs with three repeating units produced three different strings of amino acids. RNAs with four repeating units including UAG, UAA, or UGA, produced only dipeptides and tripeptides thus revealing that UAG, UAA and UGA are stop codons. With this, Korana and his team had established that the mother of all codes, a biological language common to all living organisms, is spelled out in three-letter words. Each set of three nucleotides codes for a specific amino acid. Their Nobel lecture was delivered on December 12, 1968. Korana was the first scientist to chemically synthesize oligonucleotides. Subsequent research he extended the above to long DNA polymers using non-aqueous chemistry and assembled these into the first synthetic gene, using polymerase and ligase enzymes that link pieces of DNA together, as well as methods that anticipated the invention of PCR. These custom-designed pieces of artificial genes are widely used in biology labs for sequencing, cloning and engineering new plants and animals and are integral to the expanding use of DNA analysis to understand gene-based human disease as well as human evolution. Korana's invention have become automated and commercialized so that anyone now can order a synthetic gene from any of a number of companies. One merely needs to send the genetic sequence to one of the companies to receive an oligonucleotide with the desired sequence. Since the middle of the 1970s, his lab has studied the biochemistry of bacteria Hodopsin, a membrane protein that converts light energy into chemical energy by creating a proton gradient. Later, his lab went on to study the structurally related visual pigment known as Rhodopsin, awards and honors. Korana was elected a foreign member of the Royal Society in 1978. The University of Wisconsin-Madison, the Government of India, and the Indo-US Science and Technology Forum jointly created the Korana Program in 2007. The mission of the Korana Program is to build a seamless community of scientists, industrialists, and social entrepreneurs in the United States and India. The program is focused on three objectives providing graduate and undergraduate students with a transformative research experience, engaging partners in rural development and food security, and facilitating public-private partnerships between the U.S. and India. In 2009, Korana was hosted by the Korana Program and honored at the 33rd Steenbock Symposium in Madison, Wisconsin. Death Korana died of natural causes on November 9, 2011 in Concord, Massachusetts, aged 89. A widower since 2001, he was survived by his children Julia and Davil.